Hi everyone, this is Carolina here, and uh, I'm going to talk to you today about how to create a drag and drop activity in Google Slides. Um, now, one of the main things that I'm going to focus on is uh, teaching you how to use master slides. Um, and just to show you how that works, I'm going to open up here a new doc. And if you, when you do that, you usually have this come up where you have the click and add title and subtitle. That is due to the fact that um, Google Slides has set up different layouts for you. Um, and the reason why I'm pointing this out is because with, when you go to your master slides, you can edit them and you can actually create your own layouts. Uh, and that's the beauty of master slide. And that is going to help us with what we're gonna do because when you do that, um, it's you can use it to create a background where, um, none of the objects move. So whatever you create in there, it will become a, um, a background for your screen. So just to give an idea with this activity where the students can drag the apples in the basket. Um, here I just wrote like, how many apples does Paco eat? And then in Spanish, because I teach Spanish, be like cinco más dos. So they have to figure out to drop seven apples here. Um, but you, for in order to do this, you have to have this be a background. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go to in uh, slides here. And you're gonna go to edit master. So again, slides, edit master, and this is gonna show up. So this is all those templates that you saw. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just you know, click and just make a new window here. A new slide, that window. Um, and then I want to kind of start designing what my background's going to look like. Uh, for this, I just kind of kept it simple. And again, you can get a little more elaborate what you want it to look like. Um, but I just did background and I just picked a color for the sky. And then you can go to insert text box and just to do the ground, I just made a box. And, uh, whoa. My box is still small. What happened? Let's try that again. The other one. So again, here my box, and then I'm gonna color it in with a green. But I want this transparent. So here's my background, and then we need to get a tree. So I'm gonna go to Insert Image. And I'm going to search for a transparent tree. So you want to write transparent, so it's no background. Now I ended up just picking a one that's like a clip art, clip art. Oh, this looks nice too. But um, I'm just gonna pick the one I had so I can show you what I did. So I just grab that. You just want to make sure you find something that has that transparent background. So I have my tree. And then I need a basket. So I ended up picking this one. Okay, so we have the basket. Um, okay, so now this is what I want to have in my background. So this is the things that I don't want the kids to be able to move in order to do this activity. So again, you created this in the master slide uh, section. So again, now when you go here, if you right click and you go to apply layout, now that is going to show up as an option. And again, what you created now shows up, oh, I need to adjust that, but what you created now shows up as a background. So you can't really move this. So now I'm going to need the apples. So the apples, you do want to put them in the regular, um, slides because again you want to be able to have the kids move those again versus the background that you had um so here i have my apple but i need a few more so i'm going to put that there then i'm going to duplicate it so what i do is i duplicate and see you can can drag and select all of them. You can do the same thing, drag and select some more. So 
Oh, yeah, so that way you just have them kind of around the tree here. Um, and then what I do, because I do want it to, uh, for them to be able to drag and drop them here, but I don't want like the tree to run out of apples. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all, I'm going to duplicate all of them, and then just stagger them over each other. Again, this gives some opportunity um, to do this activity um, more than once. So if I had them do this, they could um, try to figure out how many apples I'm talking about. Like I say, like Cinco, and then they drag Cinco in here and so on. Um, and you can always just make... Uh, copies of this throughout the slide and then just give them the different uh, prompts like if I want cinco, siete, diez, and then they can do the activity. So that is how to do this one. Um, the other one that I have here in our example is just a simple um, creating an activity where they match the picture with the words. So this is just practicing colors. So you could do the same thing when you're um, if you type something in those slides, it will become a background. So if I want to go back to my master slides to create that, I go again, slides, edit master, create a new slide to work on. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, paste it in. And now when I go back to this page, if I right click, apply layout, you are going to see this option. So now all of this, I cannot, the kids cannot delete it or drag it out. Um, and I'll talk to this about in another video, but how this, you know, can also work for other activities. I'm going to make one about other activities using master slides. Uh, but this one's just, you know, <laughs> using it to do drag and drop activities at the moment. So. Um, so, yeah, so then I would just add my little guys here probably make them bigger um and then the kids can just match them so azul amarillo verde anaranjado rosado rojo and so on okay so that's that one another activity that i made um and i saw this on um, the Diana group is creating a spelling board uh, so here's just the same idea. The kids um, can drag like the letters down uh, to spell words. Um, so with this one, what I did was I uh, just looked up a board that I like to use. Um, the same thing, you can go to um, your slides. So master slides, edit master slides. And open a new one. And add the board. And then I'm going to actually, I'm going to give add a background uh, color to this just because it's pretty simple right now. Uh -huh. um, so if I go to background, and let me just do a gradient just to change it up. Let's just do that. So now here again, this is going to be my background. So when I go back to our slides, right click, apply layout, you're gonna see that option. So then here you would, you can add, and again, I just typed each letter uh, to get all the letters that I wanted and just picked like a font that I liked. Um, and then, like I said, I um, you just duplicate them. So, Whatever, let's just say just these. And then you just duplicate them. Like right now, this one, or to put it there, I would just duplicate the, the letter and stagger them. So that way, as, as many times as I can want, I could use these um, for them to spell something. Okay, so that one's that activity. Um, another one that I made is a bingo board game. So with this one, my plan is to give them the pictures related to the World Cup. So this World Cup is about uh, school, um, like the items in the school, la clase, and colors. So that's what we cover in this one. 
so what I did is I did the same thing. I, um, if you look here on my slides, I have, um, you go to apply layout. I have a slide that's just like the bingo board. So I just Google bingo, bingo board game um, template. And that's all I added in my uh, master slide. And then I just had the, the pictures that I use for uh, my kids for, for the book up in the chapter. So then and all I'm, I'm gonna ask them to do is I'm gonna give this to them and then they would set up where they want the items to be on the board. And then when we play the activity, you know, I would say um, um, la silla and then they would drag the chips to the board. And the same thing with the chips. The chips were the things that I did duplicate. So then, and then I stagger them together. So they should have enough chips um, to use for the whole board. Um, and what I ended up doing is actually, um, when I share this with them, they're gonna make a copy of their own. So they're gonna have their own copies. And um, I just kind of put like the same, like I just copy the slide like three times. So that way, if we wanna play more than one round, they can just go to the next slide and then set up a different board game. Um, so yeah, so these are some ideas. And like I said, I'm gonna make another video about master slide and some other activities that you can create. So not only just drag and drop activities, because um, once I discovered um, the ability to do that, I um, I really think that makes a big difference uh, when creating activities, having that option of the master slide. Uh, so yeah, so I hope this helps. Um, I hope you like this video and inspires you to create your own activities. I would love to hear what they are. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time thank you